Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. What's it like owning an electric car? For Carol Bishop, it was something she really wanted to do. But she has some other rather practical reasons as well. Hi, I'm Carol Bishop, and I'm here at my home in Edmonton, Alberta, and with my new Nissan Leaf. I bought it mostly for environmental reasons. The Nissan Leaf is one of the most affordable electric vehicles. But as so many EV drivers will attest, it's also a joy to drive. It is so much fun. It just picks up and goes. There's no gears to change. There's no lag. It just, you go. Carol never watches the price of gas at the pumps. In fact, in terms of filling it up, her EV is more like a cell phone. We just drive home at the end of the day and you plug it in and you're ready to go again the next morning. For Carol and her husband, the LEAF became a practical option when it increased its battery range. So we wanted to buy an EV for a long time, but range was a concern. And while the Tesla had a pretty good range, it was out of our price point. Then in 2016, Nissan came out with a LEAF with a 200 kilometer range, which Carol says nicely matched their in-city commuting needs. It's fantastic. We use it for commuting around the city and running our errands and love it. One of the things Carol really likes is the low cost of operating her electric vehicle. In the month of March, we drove 600 kilometers and that works out to less than $10, which is about a dollar per 100 kilometers. Yep, it costs Carol $9 to drive her car 600 kilometers. Carol also didn't buy an expensive charger for her electric car. We just plug into the house the same as we would with our Christmas lights up here. And the charger came with the car, so there was no extra cost for that. And it takes about six hours to charge it based on our use. Many people wonder how electric cars fare in the winter. There is some loss of range, but then again, for Carol, the car is also toasty warm before she jumps behind the wheel. In the wintertime, you have to plan your day a little bit more and plan over a few days a little bit more. In the summertime, we can go probably four days before we actually have to charge it. In the winter, you're charging probably every day. So here we're going to look at our energy info menu. You see we've got 146 kilometer range right now. And if we turn on the heat, we're going to lose 11 kilometers. This is the kind of thing that impacts your range in the winter time. Then Carol pushes a button and displays fuel efficiency or energy economy on the screen of the car. We've got 5.2 kilometers per kilowatt hours for this car. And right now we're paying just under 7 cents a kilowatt hour. So that's just over a penny per kilometer. Carol says it's when you go on a road trip that public charging stations are important. She thinks ATCO's Peak to Prairie's new network of high-speed chargers could help her get around the province. The Leafs that just came out this year have a 300-kilometer range. With that kind of range and the addition of charging stations throughout the province, we can actually get places. Like many EV owners, Carol has also added solar modules to her home to generate clean electricity. We were able to put in a 10 kilowatt system, and so that should take care of all of our power needs over the course of a year, including the car charge. So, what spiked Carol's interest in solar and electric vehicles? Because we're nerds. <laughs> I've probably wanted something like a solar system since I was 10 years old. Indeed, Carol says she was inspired by a grade 5 teacher who taught her about passive solar energy. Carol's had her Nissan Leaf for three years now and really loves the low cost of operating her electric vehicle. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.